What are we doing today, Pace? You gonna watch mommy do her makeup? Gotta start them young, you know? She's my biggest fan. Let's just say she loves Nay Danger style more than anyone. Not even kidding. She just sits and stares at me. She doesn't even hardly move. She doesn't even hardly blink. She just stares. I mean, that's a serious fan right there. So today I'm doing a video about how to contour your face, how to make your face look skinny. Who doesn't want to know how to make your face look skinny? And there's always, let's just put it this way. Everybody has some feature about their face or their hair or something. I feel like everyone I talk to has something that they're like, oh, I hate my nose or I hate my lips or I hate my hair or whatever. Today we're going to be talking about um, different techniques with makeup that you can do to help minimize things that you feel like stick out or are really big and accentuate things that are really small and really narrow. So the basis of this how to bring things out or accentuate things is you know the contrast of light and dark. Light uh, brings out and dark recedes. So basically the rule of thumb is anything you want to kind of hide or make kind of fade away or, or visually kind of blend in you want to add depth to or a little bit of darkness and if you want something to kind of stand out or come forward you want to add light to it and it really helps to have good brushes which are my Sigmas which in, were in my favorite brushes video my F80 and my F86 these are both kabuki brushes they blend in liquid foundation or liquid concealer or primer or highlighter or anything like this they're gonna blend those in and stipple those in really, really nicely. So that helps a lot. And then also, you know, for a powder, you wanna have a really good brush to blend that in with. If you're an oily person, you can use powder. And if you are someone who, like me, is dry, you can use, um, you know, your liquid ones because these are gonna add some moisture and then you just wanna make sure you set it with a powder. So I use Makeup Forever's HD Professional High Definition Powder. It's a lot of words basically it's just a setting powder and it's translucent so it's clear so it's just gonna take whatever color you put on your skin and set it keep it in place so it's not gonna go anywhere so the first one is how to make your nose look skinny and so I'm just gonna show you a couple few techniques that make your nose look really nice and skinny so let's get started so we are gonna start with max highlighter prep and prime in shade radiant rose and you're just gonna take and put a big line of that right down the center of your nose and then we're using CoverGirl's Invisible Concealer, and you can really use any concealer you want. You just want it to be a couple shades darker than your skin. And you're just going to put a few lines of it along the side of your nose. Then we're going to take Charged Water from MAC, and we're going to spray that on a brush. And I'm using the Angled Kabuki Brush from Sigma. It's the F86. And you're just going to spray some of that charged water on there, and that's just going to moisturize your skin as you're pressing this in. And I'm not going to use a smearing motion because I just want to press this makeup in. I don't want to take any of it off my skin. I just want to push it into my skin. And you just want to keep on stippling and keep on pushing that makeup in until it's completely blended. And I didn't get the full footage of me blending it in completely, but I just kept on pushing it in and kept on stippling it until I didn't see any more residue of the makeup left. Until it was a completely blended, smooth look. So you just want to keep going, keep going until you feel like it looks natural and very blended in and then you're going to take Makeup Forever's HD setting powder and you're just going to apply some of this powder all over the area you just put product on and that is going to set that product and keep it from moving then for you oily people out there if you want to use a powder use Hoola from Benefit it's an amazing amazing bronzer but you can use it as a contour and you want to use a contouring brush that's not too pointed and too sharp that's going to work really well in those rounded areas around your nose you guys enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe I am doing videos all the time and I want you to know when they come out so subscribe below there's a little button down there and I will see you next time bye